Hey, it's Austin, and I'm going to walk you through the install of our rebuild kit that we sell. This is just for the HX35 and HX40. Yep. It also works for the HE341 and HE351. It doesn't work for the variable geometry, though. We do sell the variable geometry kit, but for this video, I'm just going to show you how to ins install this kit. The first thing you want to do to make sure that uh, your bearing housing is still good is to take the rear seal and put it in the back of it and make sure that the gap is very minimal just like in this video. Once you confirm that the gap is still good then you can go ahead and finish with the install. Another thing to check it is for scarring of the bearing housing. If there's any scarring, then it's good just to go ahead and replace the bearing housing, which we also sell a replacement for that too. The first part you want to install is these C-clips, and the ones that you want to ins install are the very middle In order to install these clips, you need a pair of pliers that are needle nose, and you probably even have to sharpen them with a grinder to make sure that you, you can get them in the holes of the small C clips. The best way to get this C clip in here is to push it all the way down as far as you can, and then you're going to tilt it. One way to help keep the clip from going too far is to take a screwdriver through the back side. And now you have the ability to adjust how far the C-clip is going to go in the back of the housing. Once you compress the C-clip, then you can force the screw <coughs> screwdriver to move the C-clip up and into the groove. Now we have our C clip installed. The next clip to install is the inner side of the back bearing, which is the same procedure. Once you have the inner C-clips installed, go ahead and air out the journal bearings just to make sure that there's no excess metal from installing the C-clips. Once the bearing housing is clean, go ahead and take your journal bearings and your thrust bearing and wash them. Next, you're going to oil the bearing seats. Thank <laughs> you. 
and install your first journal bearing. Make sure the journal bearing sp spins freely. Then you're going to cage the, the bearing. I usually put the back side of the bearing or the back side of the sequence clip in first. And then I'll hold that with my finger and grab the two holes. And one of the most important parts is to make sure that it goes in all the way. Sometimes you'll have to go back here and pull the clip back to make sure that it didn't go too too far down in there. Then you're going to go ahead and install the thrust bearing. One thing to note is that on a lot of the aftermarket thrust bearings, the holes are not large enough, but I was able to get aftermarket kits that supply the thrust bearing holes that are the proper size for the standard kits. So we don't have a problem with thrust bearing failures. <coughs> so install the HX35 uh, thrust collar. This thrust collar also can be used in the H1Cs as an upgrade, but in order to use it you need to cut out the thrust bearing uh, or around the thrust bearing collar or the thrust around you need to cut around the thrust collar to make it work in some case in some cases some of them are actually already machined to accept it but uh, I'm not going to show you that in this video but hopefully when I do the H1C video I'll be sure to show you what I'm talking about Now you can insert your seal. Sometimes you need to actually stretch it a little bit to make sure that it will go around this, this plate when you install it. Or otherwise, sometimes it can get caught under it. You can grab this piece, uh, it's called the oil def deflector, and you just press that in evenly. Grab the thrust collar, and drop some oil on it. So now that the oil goes underneath the seal, If you watched my videos before, you know how much I stress putting this on properly. Notice the open end. Take note of the open end when I go to do this. I put some oil on the o-ring
Be careful not to push the collar down when pushing this in. Because if you push the collar down, you have a chance that when you go to put the shaft back in, that if this is not, not straight, then you'll have a thrust bearing failure. Install a new rear heat shield. Add a little bit of Loctite. One thing I do with all the hole sets is cut this bearing housing for the o-ring so that, that gives us the ability to have the compressor housing seal properly. The way the hole sets come from the factory is they don't have that o-ring but on a lot of them you have the ability to, to cut the bearing housing for an o-ring so that you can seal the compressor housing other than this being zeroed out with the compressor cover. So in this case, I'll go ahead and install or put some oil on the O-ring. Make sure you have a good pair of pliers for when you go to put the C-clip on. Be sure to pry it back. Then just check over your work. If you're interested in any of these products that we sell, just contact us, you can shoot us an email or go to our website 
Hopefully everything here that I showed you was helpful for your rebuild.